Uh oh. Are we crashing? Don't crash. Do not crash. I think we just crashed. I think we just crashed Lightroom Classic. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Costas Lozanis. I am a filmmaker and a restaurant owner based here in Dallas, Texas. In today's video, I am gonna teach you how to up your time-lapse game with an overly complicated process just so the image looks that much better. We're gonna start down here at the harbor because I'm getting my revenge on yesterday's time-lapse. All right, you guys, I am gonna set up my tripod here. Whenever I'm composing my shot, I am gonna to try to get a little bit of foreground in there. And time lapses always work really well when there is a lot of movement in the video. And we've had some gorgeous clouds lately that have just been like blowing up the sky. Uh, so if you can get some clouds in there, don't do it when it's like not cloudy. Uh, always have some clouds if possible or, or a subject, something that's moving. Right now I am setting my my camera to photo mode instead of video mode. I brought my ISO as low as it possibly could go and I closed the aperture all the way down to f22 and my shutter speed is at one second. Uh, variable ND is set to max. Over here I have uh, the camera set to Kelvin, the shutter speed at one second and the aperture set to 22. I have my camera at a full battery, my Wi-Fi turned off to save power, live view turned off to save power. Over here you can see the exposure is slightly underexposed. I'd rather it be underexposed instead of overexposed. Sometimes you gotta break a few laws. All right, guys, that was a successful hyperlapse shoot. Let's take these back to the studio. Let me show you exactly what we're gonna do to make these so magical. But first, here's 45 seconds of my day. Oh, Bye. All right, guys, I am done with work. I am back at my studio. We are going to take all of those photos that we took and open them up into Lightroom Classic. So let's dive into the computer and let me show you guys what we're gonna do with all of these photos. Go ahead and crack open Lightroom Classic and we are going to import all of these photos that we shot on our camera earlier. So file, we are going to import photos and video. I have them on my external hard drive, folder of my daily vlogs. Day's date is July 27th, 2020, and Corona is still relevant. Drop down into my stills photo, hyperlapse subphoto, and then my Canon 6D Mark II. All right, we're gonna select all of those photos here, all 552 amazing photos. I'm gonna import those into Lightroom Classic. Give this a second, cause that is quite a bit of photos. One of the benefits of having these photos is you're essentially going to be having a 5K raw image to work with for your timeline. So much you can do. It's gonna be so much fun. Now that all of these photos have been dropped into Lightroom Classic, let's go ahead and click on that develop tab and pull up one of 550 photos. Pull over the develop tab and I am just going to start playing around with this photo. If you want to, to save time, just click on auto to get kind of a, a good starting point that kind of gets started for you. And then in here, you can start playing around a bit with everything. Uh, I do like the exposure brought up. Contrast plus six. 
That looks good. The highlights, I'm actually gonna bring those down a little bit more just because I want more of that sky uh, to come out and more of the clouds definition there. Uh, the shadows, those look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them up to 100. I am going for like this super HDR look because I do want people to know that this was only able to be achieved by these raw photos. And if you did this with a regular time lapse, this image would completely tear apart. Blacks look great, negative 23, I'm happy with everything else. I'm gonna add just a touch of texture and clarity to this image. Okay, down here in the tone curves, I'm not gonna do too much. I do want to see about maybe cleaning up a little bit of this green, get this water cleaned up. The blues, I do like to darken the blues a little bit down here in the luminance. Again, that's just gonna add more contrast between the clouds and the uh, blue sky. Maybe not go that hard of blue, but just a little bit. Negative 30, negative 30. Split toning, I think I'm gonna leave that alone today. And noise reduction, add about 25%. And that looks like a pretty good image. You can see the before and the after. So not too much was done. Just kind of lifting those shadows a little bit and adding a little bit more saturation to this image. Enable profile corrections. We need to take everything we did here and copy it and paste it to the other 549 images. Right click on your mouse, go up to develop settings go over to copy settings, make sure that everything is selected or you can just click on check all, copy, select the second photo, scroll all the way over, hold down shift, click on the last photo, right click, go back to develop settings and we are going to paste your settings. Give Lightroom some time. It is gonna go through all 549 photos, take everything that we just did with that first photo and paste it to the other ones while you just sit back and let the software do all of the work for you. Gotta work, gotta work smarter, not harder in this situation. Okay, the photos did crash, I apologize. Luckily, I actually had already edited the other hyperlapse, and I, for some reason, made a preset just for that one called Lake Hyperlapse. So we didn't have to go back and re- Actually, I think it looks better now uh, with the, the Lake preset that I made for the other one. We we're going to import all of those photos into, excuse me, into Premiere Pro. Go ahead and right click, import. Let's go to our photos that we have here. All of these photos, and you have to ask yourself, how are we gonna lay those in our timeline? Do we, do we import all of them and then just kind of lay them in there? Or, or do we click on the very first photo and if you notice, they are all uh, labeled in sequence order. That's why you don't want to change the name or have a custom name for them because this is the only way this is going to work. You're going to click on image sequence right here and you're going to click open. That's going to stitch all of those photos together into one piece. And now this will not play back as I'm teaching you, but even at like one fourth I don't think this is gonna play back, but let's just see. <laughs> no, it's not gonna play back. That is how you create a photo hyperlapse using raw 6K photos, stitching them together and uploading them into Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope you go out there and capture something stunning, something breathtaking, something that very few people can do and basically capture a little bit of history. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I will definitely be answering those for you. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.